Hi everyone, it's Amy. I have a Harry Potter haul for you today. I have been to two different Primarks to pick up some of their new range and I'd like to share with you what I have bought so far. Now, not only am I a massive fan of Harry Potter, I'm a huge fan of pyjamas. I have so many pairs, I absolutely love getting new pyjamas and I've been staying at a friend's quite a bit recently and generally when I'm there I like to just wear sort of vests and shorts because it's quite warm there. So I thought these would be brilliant, so I couldn't decide which ones to get, so I did get all four houses. Now I am a Slytherin, so obviously that one I had to get, and the lady had to look out back for these, because they didn't really have any of these out on the shelf. And I'm normally a large, but in Primark I've bought the extra large, because they're just a little bit looser, and I'm just worried that if they shrink with the large you sort of you don't get much wiggle room really so these are the slithering ones so you get the green and sort of it's a little bit of an off-white color in the shorts you've got this the snake the serpent and then you've obviously got the slithering badge and then you've got cunning ambitious determined and resourceful they are the qualities of a slithering then I picked up the Ravenclaw pyjamas. So these ones have got two different shades of blue as the shorts. And then you have the Raven, the Raven in gold. And you have wisdom, intelligence, creativity and originality. And what's brilliant about these pyjamas is they're £6 for the set. Which I don't think is bad for a pyjama set. So there's the shorts, they're quite little. Then this is the Gryffindor set. So you've got the off-white and the burgundy. In this one, I've got the Gryffindor Lion in sort of a rose gold colour, and then the qualities for a, for a Gryffindor are bravery, daring, chivalry, and courage. So that's that one, the Gryffindor badge, and then these ones are the Hufflepuff pajamas, and you've got grey and yellow shorts, a grey top with a gold badger, and then the qualities of a Hufflepuff are loyalty, kindness, honesty, and friendship. And what I think is lovely about the Hogwarts houses is I think you can identify with all of them in some way. I think all of the qualities are things that everybody should have within them. Some you just may portray a little bit more. And generally I am I tend to match my Hogwarts socks, because I've got the, the four houses in the socks. I tend to match them to my mood, which house I feel like being on that particular day. So they were £6 for each of the sets. And I was quite lucky to actually get all four houses in my size. The Gryffindor was the only pair in the shop that I found at all. The only pair. Um, which was, just happened to be in my size. And the Slytherin ones, the lady had to look out back. But the Hufflepuff and the Ravenclaw ones, they had quite a lot. That was in Stratford, that one. And then I picked these ones up in a different Primark store. And if I could convey to you through this camera how soft these pyjamas are, I really wish I could. Because they are just the nicest feeling pyjamas. And you've got the hoodie, so there's the hood, it's a long sleeve hoodie. You've got Hogwarts with some rose gold accents, the stars, the moon. And then at the bottom, you've got the Hogwarts emblem. And it's just a long sleeve hoodie. I've bought larges in these because they're really quite baggy. And that was £10 for the hoodie. And then it comes with the jogging bottoms. So it's got the Hogwarts emblem and then it says Hogwarts down the side of the left leg. And these are just ever, ever so soft. And I thought, not so much to wear as pyjamas, because I don't, I wouldn't sleep in something like this, it'd be way too hot. But just sort of, of a weekend, if I'm just lounging around in at home, these will be really, really comfortable. So I picked those up, and the trousers were also £10. I picked up this t-shirt, and it's a grey t-shirt. Again, this is quite soft, it's quite a lightweight t-shirt, this one. And it says, don't let the muggles get you down, with the little Harry Potter glasses and the lightning bolt. And this one, I think this was £6. I need to double check on this one. Oh. No, it's £8, sorry. So that top is £8. But it just seems really, really comfortable. And the last pair of pyjamas I picked up are these ones. So the top is like a royal blue. And then it has platform nine and three quarters in gold. With some little stars. And then you can see that the trousers... Are like this they're really really thin really thin and then they've got all sorts of different pictures so you've got the golden snitch you've got the winged key platform nine and three quarters the um the deathly hallows a letter you've got all sorts of different pictures in here 
present moons and all sorts. Even got some owls and things. Oh, where's it gone? There. So I picked those up and they were £10 for the set. Then I picked up this choker. Now I thought they were two individual chokers if I'm honest. But they're not. They're just one. And it's £3. And then you get... So you've got the black velvet choker and then the gold chain underneath. And then you get four different pendants to hang, hang on it. So you've got the Deathly Hallows, HP, a winged key... And then some little glasses. Oh, they flipped around. Sorry. Some little glasses with a lightning bolt. So you can choose. Oh, they've also flipped around. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'll flip it back. There you go. You can see the wings key a bit better. So those are all the different little charms that you can hang on your necklace when you wear it. Then I picked up some more socks. So I do love the Harry Potter trainer socks. And then this was the only set I didn't have. So you've got this one, the Marauder's Map. That one just says Hogwarts. And then the back pair, if I can lift this up, says I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. So for the set of three, that was £2.50. So that's those. Then I picked up the, oh, I'm cool. These ones. So this one says I'm a keeper. It's got gold detailing on this one then you've got keeper quidditch team and then the final pair just say hogwarts with the hogwarts emblem but what's really fun with these ones they say they're workout socks and through the middle you might be able to see it's got slightly different stitching which obviously goes around the middle of your foot so they'll be really good for the gym and then at the top you see they've got little pom-poms on the back these ones here the i'm a keeper They've got little gold pom-poms on the back of the shoe, on the sock, sorry, which are really fun. So for those three, that was £2.50 as well. And then the final set of socks I picked up were these. These are footlets, so they're more like slipper socks. They've got headwig on the top, but on the bottom they've got the little rubber balls, so they're, they've got more grip. And these were £2.50 for the one set. And again, at the back, they've got these little pom-poms on the back of the socks. Was it both? Yeah, there's two. But I just thought, because as I say, I keep I stay at my friends quite often. I'm not going to pack like all my slippers and things like that to stay there. But I thought these were quite good wear sort of as slippers, but they're a bit smaller to fit in my bag. Then I picked up some of the shoppers. So I do want all of the shoppers. Um, I don't always collect everything of the set, contrary to popular belief. But with these, I tend to use these shoppers all the time at school. It's quite easy to just chuck some books home if I'm taking marking home or sort different bits and pieces. And these are just really useful to have in your bag, in your car, things like that. Yes, there are cheaper ones, and they, but they are just not as interesting as Harry Potter ones. So the first pet, these are £3 each, by the way, these ones. So the first bag that I got, it's got red handles because it is the Gryffindor bag. So let me show you the Gryffindor emblem. So it's got this beautiful gold glitter on it with the red handles. So that's the Gryffindor bag. Then I picked up the Slytherin bag. So it's got this absolutely stunning jade green for the handle. And there is the bag itself. So the glitter in this one is the green. It's got a really beautiful colour. Absolute favourite colour. And then the final one I've got, it's got the black handles. And it has the Hogwarts emblem. Now the only thing I don't like about this Hogwarts emblem is Hufflepuff is not black, it's yellow. So um, I would quite like that to have been yellow instead and then I think the badger would have stood out a little bit better. But small thing really, and as you can see obviously it's gold glitter on this one. But the two Primarchs that I went in, the first Primark literally had the grey pyjamas and the blue ones and that was it. The rest I've got all in Stratford. But even Stratford only really catered towards the Gryffindor and Slytherin. The other houses not so much now that should have been it for my harry potter haul but then i have been to lakeside and to oxford street this week uh, i had to take my sister to lakeside the other day she needed some jeans and we picked up some bits in the primark there and then my sister my mum and i had a trip up london today so we went into the oxford street and actually i was expecting there to be more i thought it was going to be that i mean there's loads there there's loads of stuff but they still haven't got all the four houses in quite a lot of their bits, which I think 
it, I think they need to cater better for the other houses to be quite honest with you. So I'll show you the few bits that I've picked up in those two Primarks. So technically I've now been to four, four different Primarks. That is how sad I am. So I picked up some of their makeup bags. So I've got the Gryffindor one, Slytherin, and was able to pick up Ravenclaw, just not Hufflepuff. Now, I obviously don't need three or four makeup bags. I don't actually want them all as makeup bags. I do want one as a makeup bag. But I need a new toiletry bag and I also need a new pencil case. So that is what these are all going to be used for. They've all got completely different purposes, um, which is why I bought more than one. I think these were £4. I've cut off the tags of those ones. They were £4. Yeah, they were £4. And they are really deep. You'll fit loads in. So I want to use this one for school. And the reason I need such a big pencil case is I generally keep scissors and a ruler and my cropper doll and all sorts of tools that I use quite often and spare blades for my trimmer. So I generally use a really large pencil case and mine just looks really tatty now. And then on the zip you get this like rope with like sort of like a faux leather I suppose, a little Hogwarts emblem in the colour of that house. So you get them, oh where is it on this one? Get them on each of those. And these are really lovely. I'm really pleased with these. I just wish I'd been able to pick up the Hufflepuff one. But those are those three makeup bags. And I picked up this set of jewellery. Now I'm not too keen on the nine and three quarters bit. So I probably wouldn't really use the necklace. But I love the little ones with the glasses. And the earrings are all really sweet. The Deathly Hallows. You've got the little glasses and lightning bolt. And a nice little pair of studs. And the two bracelets are really lovely. This was £5 for the set. I picked up another two. These, these ones are actually separate chokers. Picked up these two chokers. I'm not as keen on the one at the bottom. I picked it up more for the one on the top. I love this effect in the chokers. And I absolutely love the Deathly Hello sign. So I picked these ones up. And I was pleased they were in silver, not in gold. Because practically everything in the Harry Potter range is in gold. And I'm not a massive gold fan. I much prefer things in silver. And then I picked up this Slytherin keyring, which was three pounds. Now it sounds really sad, but all the key, all the keyrings on my keys are places that my partner and I have been to, or gifts that he's given. So I want to get rid of them all, to be quite honest with you. And I thought this would be a nice one to to add to my keys, just so that they're not completely bare. And that was, did I say three pounds? It was three pounds. I picked up, yes, I have a, a sock addiction. I picked up some more socks. Now, I just want to clarify, because anyone watching this that doesn't actually know me will just think I'm some weirdo that just tends to buy socks constantly. I haven't actually bought socks for a long time. All the socks I have are, I say they're old. It's not like they're all holy and falling apart, but I've had them for a long time, so I'm completely overhauling and getting new bits. So I really love these ones, which is Live Among Us. And that's pretty much why I picked these ones up, because these are from the Fantastic Beasts, as opposed to like the main Harry Potter range. Then you've got Muggleworthy. And then the final pair just say Fantastic Beasts on them. So I really like those. And again, just like the other sets, they're £2.50 for the three pairs. I picked up two of their little fold-away shoppers. Now I think, I think it's this red one, this red one's been around for ages and then this is the newer one. As you can see that the, the Hogwarts emblems are slightly different on them, like the colouring I mean. And what they are is they're a little fold away shopper, so you can see it in there, I'm not going to undo it because I'll never get them tied back, folded back up again. Um, but I saw these, I think it was Tony Raptor that had, I saw originally haul these, she folds them out if you want to check her video out. And these were £2 each. Yeah, £2 each. And the number of times recently I've got got to a shop and just picked up a couple of bits and not had a carrier bag because they get ripped and you always forget to get new ones. And over in the UK, obviously, you have to pay for shopping bags now. So I thought these would be great. They just fold up, stick them in my handbag, and then hopefully I won't keep getting caught out buying more and more carrier bags. I picked up these two notebooks. Um, they didn't have all four. They only had Slytherin and Ravenclaw. These were in the Oxford Street branch. That's the only place I've seen these. Um, but since my partner and I split, I've been I've started journaling. I just find it's in the evening when I sort of go up to bed, just chuck every anything that's in my head down, and I found that that's been really therapeutic. And I have got tons of notebooks. Don't get me wrong, 
but I really like these, they're £3 each and what I love about these, I can't show you too well on my bed but they open flat so when you open them the spine actually makes sure that they lay flat there's nothing worse than getting a notebook that then has that weird bulge in the middle but these when you turn the pages they do lie really flat and that's what I really liked about them and I thought they're really useful even if I used them for school, school notes, I mean I'm constantly writing so you can never never run out of notebooks um, and my mum actually picked up some of these cauldron mugs and she's actually she's actually getting them for us for Christmas she's she's one of these that buys like all her Christmas bits well early so I can't actually open the box and she said to me in the shop oh do you want one of these put under the tree I thought well why not so I'll just get it out to show you and then I'm going to sneak it back into her bag hopefully she won't watch this video later and there it is oh you can see me this is got three little feet just a little black ceramic mug looks like a cauldron and then this is sort of a rose gold colour and that's what it looks like so you get a nice good brew of tea in there and I'll sort that out in a second and then the final two things that I picked up which were actually in the lakeside branch they didn't have these in Oxford Street so it's just bizarre how they've all got completely different bits and I know that they're probably selling out really quick because it's new and everybody's going for for the Harry Potter stuff at the moment. But I just think that they need to be a bit savvy about what they're putting out. So I picked up two of these blankets. Now if you're still with me from the beginning of this video. You can obviously tell I like to collect. And I will generally pick up all four. But I just could not justify four blankets. There's no reason one person needs four blankets. Although see me again next week I probably will have gone and bought the other two as well but they're six pounds and I cannot convey to you just how snugly they are they are so so soft and so you've got it's white fleece with green stars on this one and the Slytherin emblem over and over again same thing on this one but obviously red stars and the Gryffindor emblem over and over again so I picked this one up for me to use at home and then I got a spare because when that's in the wash I'll need to use the other one or just if ever I stay at a friend's house or something it's, there's nothing wrong with taking a blanket especially in the winter I'd rather that than take like full on dressing gown or whatever they'll think you're moving in but I just honestly they are so soft and my sister, my sister's as bad as I am she's bought pretty much everything I've bought as well and when I picked this one up she went to me, I'm so pleased you're buying the last Slytherin one. So I said, oh, I'm so sorry, do you want it? She said, no, if there's another Slytherin one, if we find another one, I will buy all four blankets. And I was trying to talk her down because she'd literally just bought a blanket last week with the aliens from Toy Story. I said to her, seriously, love, you don't need five blankets. But she is as bad as me at collecting things. We are the people that Primark have brought this range out for. Because rather than just going and buying this blanket, because that's my house and that's my favourite colour, I've obviously ended up with two. And quite very, very nearly... But I'm trying to be strong. I'm trying to be strong and it's not working because the amount I've spent on Harry Potter stuff in the last couple of weeks is ridiculous. Now, in the next few videos I'm going to upload, I've got some old videos, some hauls that I did a while ago that have, were put in a friend mail that I've only recently sent. So it's going to be a bit confusing. I'm not actually spending any money now for a while. But some of the videos are obviously going to look like I'm doing more shopping and I'm not. So just in case you're watching them and you're getting a bit confused, I'm now on a no spend, complete no spend. The only thing I have is I've got some gift vouchers to a craft website, which I may have a look and see if there's anything on there. But I cannot go over that spend. I need to now not spend any any money. Otherwise, I'm going to gonna be incredibly poor. Thank you for watching. Thank you. I hope you're still with me. I know that was a really long haul, but the Harry Potter stuff in Primark really is amazing. And six pound for a blanket you know four pound for a makeup bag a couple of quid for some socks they're actually really reasonably priced if you pick something like this up in harry potter world i reckon you'd be paying like 20 quid for it so i have to say hats off to primark for for bringing this range out because it's made it really affordable and um, thank you for watching um and i'll be back again soon bye bye